I have my seatbelts on. My door appears to be closed. All right, clear on the left. So, since we're sitting on some icy area here, Chris. Yes? I think you should talk about picking up and setting down and what what you're thinking about as you're well i'll tell you what i was doing. really thinking about there when a lot you don't see this here i am at rev up here so i'm ready to go but you don't i don't see this a lot with students especially when i fly with other uh students from other schools or someone that's i've never flown with yep i'm surprised at how many times people don't give some pedal input when they split the needles to check yes. that sprag clutch here we are sitting on ice Yes. I split the needles by rolling throttle off quickly. If you don't add a right, or if you don't add the correct pedal, you're gonna go spinning. Yes. And it's happened to me. I I almost I was with a student. I'll give you a quick example. I was with a student one time. Yep. He rolled off throttle very quickly to do the power or do the uh, sprag clutch check, and I wasn't ready for it. Yep. You know, and he just did it, and we were sitting next to the fuel pumps, and it scared yes. me because the yes. whole aircraft rotated. Yep. And it, we were so close to the pumps that I, I thought we were we almost hit it. And I actually popped my door open to look back to see how close we were. And, I mean, it, we were farther than what I thought, but yes. it did scare me. And it's all because he rolled that throttle off to split the needles. you got to add pedal when you do that, just for this this exact case. Here we are. We are sitting on top of snow and ice. Yep. When I rolled off today, I added left pedal, and we didn't rotate. But if I would have rolled quick that rolled that throttle off fast and didn't add any pedal, we could have turned the whole aircraft. So I see that a lot with people that I don't that I don't train. They never add that pedal, and it's just something easy to do so you don't rotate the aircraft. I am going to back that up. Exactly what you said, 100%. You'll fly with someone that came from somewhere else, and this isn't us just bashing other instructors. Right, right. There's people that just haven't been shown this. Luckily, I was taught early on, you do it all year round. Right. You always yep. add pedal when rolling throttle off, depending on which model, left right. or right pedal, yep. could be. But the point is to, when you roll throttle off, always add the proper pedal so the aircraft doesn't spin. So you get, it, it counteracts that torque. It's, it that takes that torque away. When you take that torque away, the aircraft's gonna spin. So if you just add that pedal, it's a nice, easy way just to keep it straight and you're right i do it all year round because it's a habit for me and I, i'm sure i picked that up from you because you're my instructor but it's amazing to me i mean this is a prime example i don't know hopefully our viewers can see it but we are yeah, sitting they can. I on, this GoPro point we down, are sitting so. on ice right now so yep. i mean this is a prime example of us is gonna we're gonna slide a little bit maybe when we start to get light on the skids but when i rolled that throttle off we definitely wanted to add some pedal today because that I, that aircraft will twist and i and i'll tell you what i that, I'll never forget that time. And I do have it on video. I show it every once in a while. Nice. You'll have to give me a clip of that. Yeah. And it was just, you know, I mean, it's just one of those things where I wasn't ready for it because I usually talk him through it and it just happened. And uh, it twisted the aircraft. And I thought for sure we were going to hit the the uh, protection markers that are by the fuel pump that we're yep. next to. So maybe if you train in the southern states, you never deal with ice. Maybe that's coming up. Could be part of it. Yeah, and you're right. I mean, maybe they don't deal with that stuff at different um, different locations. But, yeah, here in Indiana, when you sit down, when you're sitting down on a tarmac that's covered in snow, you, you know, you don't know what's underneath that snow. It could be ice. Yep. And I won't even bore you with miles, miles all my stories. You're absolutely right. For us in these states where you have ice sometimes, you got to left. You got to be prepared for that. Clear on the left. A hogs flight brief video that we didn't even know we were going to do. Yeah, and we just did one, huh? Just in the moment, it's like, hey, nice. This is a good. Let's shoot this right now. The gate pop out of a final two seven touch and go go. That was a good one. Yeah, that was good. Watching you guys going out and watching all the turbulence blowing around the helicopter, I'm like, oh, we got to figure out how we can shoot some good videos like on landing in snow yeah and we need to do that well we still got some snow but we need to pre-plan that out but some whiteout conditions or yes something. Yep. there's a couple of methods and, we'll, and we need to do that in another video for sure well it looks like these guys are still using two seven so after this guy taxis by we'll jump out there and we'll depart winds are last time i checked winds they were one eight zero so they're coming out south Of course, I didn't know he wanted to take his time taxi in either. You know what? Here's what we're going to do because we can because we're a helicopter. All right, clear left. Quick little right pedal turn. Check my power. Left. Everything's looking good. All right, coming back around. He's taking his 
sweet time there. Goshen traffic, helicopter 763, zero tell, we're going to be departing from the east hangars uh, westbound with a south turn out Goshen. And I got the airplane right there. A second aircraft taking off. Goshen is a busy airplane flight training school, so we're always being aware of them. All right. Morning, caution lights are off, gauges are in the green, got plenty of fuel. Hogs Daily Flight Brief. I'm going to give you a, a, a little insight to what the next few videos are going to be. Because Chris is going to go right down, go around right now and do a normal approach to kind of warm up before we do some autos. But we are going to cover in the next few videos the terminology flare at treetop level. We're going to do that today as soon as he warms up. We're going to do Another video on the counter versus counterclockwise and how I've changed my attitude now that I've been one around, been flying one for a while with Chris. Goshen traffic gate, top valve, turning left, crosswind, 27, Goshen. My attitude has changed, and we're going to talk about that in another video. We are also going to cover autos with S turns because we've, we've done straight in, we've done 90s, we've done 180, uh, 180s with two 90 degree turns. We're going to show you some autos with S turns. And we're also going to show you a zero airspeed auto, and we're going to do a video on stretching your glide during the audio. Radio call real quick. Goshen traffic, copter three, zero tells on a left downwind, two seven, Goshen. And I would like to point out that we do have a CO sensor that popped off. So what I've done is I've turned off our heater, opened up a vent. But just so the viewers know, we are having an issue with that sensor. This is the third time it's come on today. Okay. Um, but I've done the necessary things that we want to do, turn off the heater, open up a vent. Um, but as you all know, helicopters don't seal the best, so I'm not too concerned about carbon monoxide poisoning here. Yep, I can feel the fresh but, air coming in. Yep. But, nice good, you, good you pointed that out because I didn't even catch it. Yep. So I don't know, we've had, it's come on, now oh, well, that's the third time today, so. Traffic, three, but I think it's a, it's a sensor going one, bad. Three, three, See, now, now it's gone. So, and you might get one of those COs, quick little in, inside, you might get one of those if it's, uh, windy day and you're doing a lot of hovering and all that exhaust is getting blown back into the cabin that's usually when it happens usually when you transition into forward flight you'll clear the cabin out and that'll go away clear on the left awesome clear on the left goshen traffic up to three tells left base turn final two seven goshen okay so i'm going to intro this uh treetop level statement while chris flies his first okay. normal approach to get warmed up